stories to bring justice. This bill, this amendment, would protect IVF in this state and it would protect hormonal contraception. It is challenged in this bill because of the definition of an unborn person. As we continue to elevate that definition, we can see more and more court cases where we will be losing more and more rights, including our right to in vitro fertilization. Those conclude my opening comments. Is there a discussion? The chair recognizes Representative Wheeler. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, since the subcommittee, Representative Wessel Cruschel has been trying to turn this into a conversation that it is not. There are 40 states currently in the United States that have varying degrees of protection and justice for pregnant women and their unborn children who are victims of violence, which is the focus of this. It's a fetal homicide bill. There are also 29 states that provide protection for unborn children at any stage of gestation. I would also add in there again that this definition is currently in code. It's a very simple bill. She's trying to expand the scope, and I would urge the body to oppose this amendment.